What's it been like to be something of the bad guy chasing after Roger and Rafa all these years? You may ask yourself, how can a professional reporter ask such a stupid question? In this video, we are going to take a look at the most disrespectful questions by reporters to tennis players. Let's see how reporters embarrass themselves with this trivial and absurd questions. C congratulations. Uh, um, congratulations. I lost. You lost? Yes. Oh, okay. So what what happened out there? Are you serious? No. Uh, did, did you watch the match? No, I, I didn't. I was told that you won. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so en France, s'il vous plaît. Um, Nadal, congratulations on your win. And I would like to know how do you feel after the game and if you're ready to give it another try. I lost, by the way. Yeah, I know, but it's, and, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a win anyway. During the past uh, Grand Slam tournaments, uh, some commentators have been criticizing you about the fact that you are not obeying the serve clock rule. It seems like there are different rules for Rafael Nadal uh, than there are for everybody else. <laughs> we don't have the, the ball boys bringing the towel to you for the last couple of years, so you have to go to the, 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 far, <laughs> the farthest place of, of the court to take the towel. So the problem for players like me that I'm swearing that much is you know that when you go to pick up the towel, you're going to be in trouble with the time. So I am not going very often. I don't think I have a different uh, treatment from the umpires at all. You, you asked the question, sir. You asked the question. No, no, no. You no. gave the answer. I, I am, I am okay. so happy to have the conversation. Say again. Just because you are sweating a lot, there should be a different rule for you. <laughs> I never said that. You know, I am following the rules. And I, if I am having less, more than 25 seconds, I receive a warning every single time. But... If not, check the, check the clock. When you threw the racket, does it concern you that one day that, that could cost you dearly? I mean, if the ball were to hit someone today, is that something you think you ought to address? <laughs> you guys are unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it unbelievable? Yeah, because you're always picking this kind of things. It's, it's well, incredible. You keep doing these things. You know, that's, that's I, I keep doing these things. Well, well, that, saying, why, why, why don't I get suspended then? I'm saying you're close, aren't you? That's what I'm saying. I'm you're close. <laughs> I'm still not suspended, so if I'm not close, I'm not close. It could have been serious. It could have been, sure. Or it could have snow. It could have been snow in all two arena today, but it didn't. So you don't think that gives an... You're not concerned about the sort of your mindset? So I'm the only player that shows his frustration on the court, right? That's what you want to say. That's I'm the only player that is showing that. You are showing that, though. Sorry? You're one of the top-ranked players in the world. So? So you are showing this frustration. I'm asking you, do you think it's an issue for you? It is not an issue for me. It's not the first time that I did it. Oh, no. right. Next question, please. Do you think Djokovic would be as dominant or even more dominant than you have been having him no great opponents in the future? Okay, but you got to be careful how you phrase the question. You don't want to be rude to the other players because you got to face them. I don't have to face them. Yeah, I don't ask them stupid questions like that. Um, I think there's a lot of good players on the tour, I'll tell you that. You're on record as saying that if Kim goes into labour, you'll go straight home. What happens if that's between, say, the semi-final and final? Uh, um, the same thing would happen. Yeah. Congrats on the win, but it um, looked a little bit of a, of a scrappy performance. A few, few more unforced errors there for you, a couple more double faults. Oh, I think that's a very negative thing to say. Are you serious? That wasn't very kind. I sh you should apologize. What's it been like to be something of the bad guy chasing after Roger and Rafa all these years? I don't consider myself a, a bad guy, but I mean, it's your opinion. But uh, I'm not chasing anybody. I'm making my own path and my own journey and, you know, my own history. So I'm privilege to be part of the history of this sport that I that I love and as I said on the court I you know um, I know about a lot of stats I don't know about all of them but they do motivate me even more you know to to play my best tennis at the the, the events that count the most in our sport yes good good uh, thing for you that they all ask you about Agassi so nobody asked you about you uh, and uh, 
uh, I'd like to know if... Uh, but that's why you are here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know if uh, when you, you have a positive attitude, when you say, okay, good, that I played five sets, but wouldn't you prefer to be Rafa Nadal who wins 6-love, uh, 6-one, six 6-love, six uh, and one hour and 30 minutes? Wouldn't you change? I really don't understand that question. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Should I ask Agassi? No. You should ask Nadal. I think you, you're a bit late for his press conference. It was four hours ago. I am who I am, and I'm happy with that. Andy, Sam is the first U.S. player to reach a major semifinal since 2009. How would you describe Male player. The... I beg your pardon? Male player, right? Yes, yeah. first male player. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, well, tonight you were playing very short many times. I don't know why, because no, it's not used... You're not used to that. Uh, but I'd like to know, for many people, people to get uh, married is a very important and distracted thing. Mm. Before the marriage, during the marriage, after the marriage. Your concentration on tennis life has been a bit different, even if you were going out with the same. Honestly, are you asking me this? Yeah. It's a serious question or is it a joke? Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I surprise. It's a big surprise for me. You ask me this after being with the same girl for 15 years and having a very stable and normal life. Doesn't matter if you put a ring on your finger or not. In my in my personal way, I am a very normal guy. M maybe for you was it the complete? How, how many years you have been with your? Quite 30 years this year, but. And before the be, after ah maybe you were not sure that's why. <laughs> okay, okay, we move to Spanish because that's. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is for Nick. Um, <laughs> Nick, how disappointing was it not to be able to go today? How, you know, talk a bit about your situation if you don't mind, and just uh, what the uh, what, what the whole thing, how it all played out. <laughs> yeah, it was obviously, uh, I woke up, you know, I've been feeling my collarbone for the last, last week and I think just the amount I played yesterday, uh, you know, the, the occasion, um, the pressure, I guess it just, you know, was a little bit too much for my body. Can you talk louder so everyone can hear you asking me about my drugs? Why well, you didn't get a TV for it at the time? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I've never tested positive. I've always gotten a TV, so you should fact check that. In fact, no, 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 no. I actually wasn't able to play the French Open. I wasn't going to play unless I had a TV, because if you remember that year, I was incredibly sick. I don't know how I even won the match, and I said I can't. I literally can't play the final, um, but I need a TV to take uh, a decongestant. <laughs> so at the end of the day, uh, that's that's uh, that's what it is, but I've always been very happy to answer any question about that, and I've played over 20 years, and I've always been extremely honest, and that's one thing I take pride on, especially having a daughter and having a kid. I'm never going to be able to look my kid in the eye and say, Mom cheated or Mom did something like that. That is totally irresponsible, and even before that, I've always had that attitude. I've always been the kind of player that um, if you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me. And I'm going to congratulate you, but I'm never, ever going to take an advantage and try to have an advantage over someone else, because that's not who I am, and it'll never be who I am. Do you regret going to the pub last night? Do you think you could have played a bit better if you hadn't? No. What's you look way too excited to ask that question. You must have a really boring life. <laughs> what did I say to the umpire today? Well, you got a code violation, didn't you? But not for... Not for swearing at him. You said he did a horrendous job. Is that bad language, is it? It's not. Have you, have you never said a swear no, word just... before? Have you, said, have you said a swear word in your life? Well, it's not a bad word. No, no, word. no. Can said... you answer my question? No. So you're... you've never swear? You've never sworn in your life? No, it's your job to answer. No, no, but. No, no it's not. He actually, he actually asked me the question. You, you said what? Did I think you it's say? his question, I, mate. I was is it his question? The answer. It, but it's his question. Asked. It's his question. Well, right. So you didn't swear. You're saying you didn't swear. But, no, what did I say to the umpire today? Well, I just said what you said. Okay, so I didn't swear. So how how is that going to affect another player by saying horrendous job? 
I think you can figure that one out, Chan. No, I just wondered whether the banter you had with the umpire might... Okay, but did you say Dustin? Did you say Dustin the arguing the with the umpire player. as well? Mm. Did anyone say that? Did you say that too? I'm asking you... No, but did you say Dustin arguing with him too? Or just yes. me? Okay? Yes. All right. How do you feel your mindset is when there is some disrespect from the crowd? Does it help you play better? Do you have any other questions other than the crowd? Or, oh, I mean, are you focused only on that or... Any questions about the match or something like that, or is it solely focused on that? Well, your immediate reaction after was. Well, I mean, this is the third the question already. I mean, I, I, I said what I have to say. I mean. As for retirement, uh, who do you think uh, Federal or you would retire? I think that you should retire. <laughs> ¿Qué opinión te merece que las mujeres cobren menos que los hombres en el tenis y que en qué crees que se basa esa desigualdad? Gracias. ¿Por qué las mujeres ganan más que los hombres en, en, en el tema de, de la moda? Pues no lo sé, pero ahí sí que tampoco hablamos todo el día de, de, de diferencia salarial. Entiendo tu pregunta, pero es que llegamos un momento dado que, que estamos haciendo todo el rato preguntas capciosas, es preguntas que estamos buscando todo el rato la, la polémica, ¿no? Y... Ashley Barty's game today. I was on court two. She's the world number one. She was knocked out. Your game was uh, over in under an hour and a half. Do you think there was an argument that Barty's game should have been on center court? But, but, but we can predict the future or not? <laughs> She is the world number one. I am the world number two, and I won 18 Grand Slams. <laughs> so no, so no. My, my answer is n is not no or yes. My answer is they they make a decision, but you are you are putting Ashley Barty in front of me. For me, uh, both decisions are good, but in the world of tennis today, <laughs> if honestly, my feeling is. Today I am a little bit more than Ashley Barty, even if Ashley Barty is the first player of the world and he already won in, in the French Open and she's playing unbelievable good. But we can create polemics every single day about, uh, about decisions that they have to take, but at the end of the day, they have to make a decision. Talk about today how you want to grow from this arena. Do you, do you feel that you have a problem with anger and do you think that that's something you're kind of working on? Like, like I said, we are talking about the doubles from here on. Well, today you said that you, you wanted to grow up from this and you wanted to ask about that. Excuse me, I wanted, I wanted you to ask. Today, you said that you want to grow from this and become a better person in the statement today. Well, I mean, personally, I well, think I'm that... Well, I'm asking Serena. Okay, wait, are you getting aggressive with me? No, I just want to... Okay, because I was about to, to say something and you interrupted me. And I let you say what you need to say. Thank you. What, I'm, what I have to say is here that if... You know, I think we all, you know, obviously see that this, this sport is intense and we love what we do and, you know, it's very uh, emotional out there. And as people, all of us are growing each and every day. So clearly we're going to grow not only from this, but also anything else that happens in our lives. How you cope with these big points, because it's all very well saying it's a lot to do with your opponent, but there were key points when you perhaps could have done better. Is that in your professional tennis opinion? No, that's just as a watching <laughs> spectator with everyone else in centre court willing you on. Okay. Um, again, I think. And numbers uh, are IBMs. Okay. Okay. That, I mean. I, I don't think you need to pick on me in a, in a harsh way. I mean, I think uh, I think I'm I'm very open with you guys, and I I say how I feel out there. And if if you don't want to accept that answer or you don't agree with it, that's fine. But um, I still believe in the tennis that I play, and I still believe in the way I competed. And um, yeah, I don't have much else to say to your question. I'm just asking you, as somebody who presumably wants to go on from here, learn from this, and and win a Grand Slam one day. Is it not something that you need? Please don't patronise me. I'm I, not I would have, no, no, you are. In, in the way you're asking, your, in the way you're asking your question, you are being quite disrespectful, and you are patronising me. I'm a professional competitor who did her best today, and that's all there is to that. Nick, there was a moment at the end of the match where you were cleaning up. Yes. Um, I think you tossed away a banana. Was that just so the ball kids wouldn't have to do it? <laughs> you got to do better than that, bro. Come on now. 
home. Like. You're going to look for in a in candidate. What do you think the uh, the next person on there? In, First of all, you guys have to understand that you know I, I see you know the way it was presented in the media. I didn't really like it, and I don't think it's fair that you guys point out myself as the decision maker. I am a president of a council, but is that is that consists of ten players. So the majority decides. Uh, I am one of the ten. So wh wh why should I be always the one accountable for that, if I'm not the one voting? No, no, give him, I, I would like to hear what he, yeah. Well, if, if the board members who then vote against your wishes are then ousted like Roger Rashid was, it does seem like there's pretty direct influence on who picks the board. It, ha it has happened, it, as I said, it has happened in the past and they've stayed. And, and it does seem like you are voting, from what I've heard, you are voting in the majority consistently. This is not like you're getting overshadowed. And you are the leader by title <coughs> in this group. And, and, you're, number, you're, and the number one. And your number, source is reliable. Sure. Well, okay. if you ever want to say anything about what happens there, you can shed more transparency you on have, it. You have first-hand information from the council? Sure. Sure? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if you want to refute something, great. But if you just want to say you're not saying the right thing and give no counter story, that's not as useful. Then we can work on a <coughs> one later, okay? I would like to answer that, please. So, um, I know you guys are looking for a story and um, when, when you have a, a certain agenda behind behind uh, behind certain stories and articles that are written and um, you cannot always react and 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 uh, act from the position of defense because uh, then you would expose um, what your weakness or you, you then what what does that mean that we have to react to every certain certain article that you write or anybody writes because you're exposing counsel you're exposing me as an individual that i am against uh, certain individuals that were uh, i don't know on the board or leading the association or something like that i just don't understand your comment about that we have to react with the opposing story on every single article it doesn't make any sense do you regret not apologizing for hitting him with the ball in the third Why would I apologise? Well, because that's the convention, isn't it? Of what? Of tennis. Is it? If you hit someone with the ball. I didn't hit him. Hit his racket, no? But why would I apologise? I won the point. He didn't look too pleased. And? What? But you, see, you, see, you seemed to wind him up and then he, you know, he then went I don't the care. Well, why would I apologise? I mean, dude, dude's got how many slams? How much money in the bank account? I think he can take a ball to the chest, bro. I'm not gonna apologize to him at all. Did you aim it straight at him? Yeah, I, I actually was going like I was going for him. Yeah, I wanted to hit him square in the chest. Lucky's got decent hand. I'm serving and I'm like starting my routine, and then Rafa says stop, and I'm like, the rule is like play to the speed of the server. So I'm like, well, why do I have to wait for him to get into his like rhythm every time? Then I got angry at the ref. He's like, nah, I'll tell him when I want to tell him. And I was like, ooh, a little bit of a power trip there. Because, you know, he obviously feels pretty important sitting up in the chair. It's a press conference I mean, with John McEnroe personally. I think that, and this is Wimbledon, as James pointed out on that day. Wimbledon is the biggest tennis tournament in the world. People like to know. Yeah, but he does need you chipping in all the time. I mean, do you, are you employed by him? Let him speak. No, he didn't. Let him speak. He's got a job to do, so have you. Let it stand yeah. at that, right? Cheating. You're cheating was the question that riled him. You're cheating. That's right. That's a that's an accusatory question. That's, uh, that's, that's a fair question. This is not a fair question. Are you cheating? Yes, a fair question. Oh, come on, man. You crazy? Because you have I, All I said was it was his news conference and not his. That's all I said. Was I talking to you? You pointed your damn finger at me. Don't, don't you. point your finger at me, Mr. Cut it out. Cut it out, both of you. Come on, come on. Come on. Hold on. Settle down. Point your finger at me, man. Can we calm down, please? Because what fool is to do?